Good afternoon, scholars. Welcome to Tutor Time, and I'll be your host or your teacher today, Miss Allen. So today we're going to be working on uh, multiplication. Uh, for those teachers, that is standard 4.nbt.5, and that's being able to multiply up to a four-digit number by a one-digit number using a rectangular array or the area model. Now, for those parents who've been struggling with this so-called new math, um, you remember the area model probably from your middle school days, and remember that was A equals L times W, or area equals length times width. So we're going to use this formula to help us multiply numbers up to a four-digit number times one. So I'm going to start with a two-digit number times a one-digit number. Uh, let's say our equation for number one is going to be 42 times 7. So the first thing that you need to do is draw a rectangular box. I know it's not perfect, but it doesn't have to be. The box doesn't have to be perfect. Our calculation does. So here we go, scholars. Now, the first thing that I would tell my scholars to do is to count how many numbers that you have total in your equation. I have one, two, three numbers. So scholars, I'm only going to need two boxes. And I need two boxes because my first number, 42, is a two-digit number. Now, with this new strategy, our multiplication is always based upon place value. So the value of the two in 42 is simply two. And the val value in the tens column is four, which equals 40. And right here, this would be my length. And for my width, I'm going to have seven, which goes here. I am multiplying, so I am going to put my multiplication symbol right there on the side to remind me. If your scholar knows their multiplication facts, this is the easiest way for them to multiply, especially larger numbers. And you'll see as we work through this video. So first, 7 times 4 is 28. I asked my scholars, how many zeros do you have between 40 and 7? They have 1. Now I'm going to multiply 7 times 2. 7 times 2 14. Very good, scholars. And now I can add. Now I'm going to add these two numbers together. 4 plus 0 is 4. 1 plus 8 is 9. I have no hundreds, so I just bring down the 2. So 42 times 7 is equal to 200 and 94. So scholars, that's a two digit by one digit number. So now we're going to practice doing a two digit by two digit number. Our equation is going to be 73 times 59. Again, the first thing, your first step, you need to draw a box. This box is going to be a little bit bigger because I have more numbers. How many numbers do we have? Let's count. One, two, three, four. So I have four numbers. So my box needs four spaces. I'm going to make 73 my width and 59 is going to be my length. So I'm going to pull my 73 over here as a reminder. And I can leave my 59 up here. So what is the value in the ones column? Nine, that's correct. Put a nine right here. What is the value of the five in the tens column? 50, very good. We're gonna do the same with the number 73. What is the value in the ones column? Three, so I'm gonna put that down at the bottom. And again, what is the value of the seven 
in the tens column. That's right, scholars, you're so smart. 70. Put my multiplication symbol, since that's the operation that I'm using. And now I'm going to multiply. 7 times 5 is 35. Good job, scholars. How many zeros do I have between the two? Two zeros. Let's put in our comma. 1, 2, 3, comma. 70 times 50 is 3,500. Now I'm going to move, still using the 70 from 73, and I'm going to multiply it by 9. So 7 times 9, that's right, 63. How many zeros do I have between 70 and 9? Just 1. 3 times 5 is 15. How many zeros do I have between 50 and 3? Just 1. So 3 times 50 is 150, 70 times 9 is 630, and 70 times 50 is 3,500. And last but not least, 3 times 9, 27. And if you've noticed, I'm making sure that I'm writing very neatly, and I'm even lining up my numbers so I can add them. Now, you can either add vertically, which is north to south or up and down, or you can add horizontally, which is left to right or east to west. So I'm going to add horizontally. So 3,500 plus 630, zero plus zero is zero, three plus zero is three, six plus five is 11. I don't have any thousands, so three plus one is four. So 3,500 plus 630 is 4,130. Now let's add the bottom rows. Zero plus seven is seven. Five plus two is seven. And I have no hundreds, so I just bring over the one or bring it down if you're adding vertically. And so now I can add these numbers again vertically. Zero plus seven is seven. Seven plus three is 10. Put down the zero. Don't forget to carry your one. One plus one plus one is three. And I don't have any thousands, so I'm gonna bring down my four and I have 4,307. So 73 times 59 equals 4,307. So if your scholar is in fourth grade, most of the multiplication they're doing is two digit by two digit multiplication. And using the area model is very easy. So now what we're going to do is I'm gonna move my white piece of paper up a little bit and I'm going to do a three digit times one digit number. So you can see how you can multiply up to four, a four digit number times a one digit number. So now I'm gonna go to a three digit number. Our third problem is going to be 329 times five. I need a big rectangle. I'm going to put my five here and I'm going to need three boxes because my number goes up to the hundreds and I have three place value boxes. What is the value in the ones column? Nine. What is the value in the tens column? 20. And last but not least, what is the value in the hundreds column? Three or 300. And now since I've broken them down based upon place value, it's very easy to multiply by five. So five times three is 15. I have two zeros between the two numbers. So five times 300 is 1,500. 
5 times 2 is 10. How many zeros do I have between 20 and 5? I have 1. So 5 times 20 is 100. And last but not least, 5 times 9 is 45. And now I can add all of these up. To make it easier for you to see, I'll just rewrite them on the side. That is an option. 1,500, 145. And when I add them, 5 plus 0 plus 0 is 5. 4 plus 0 plus 0 is 4. 5 plus 1 is 6. I don't have any thousands, so I just bring that one down. So 329 times 5 equals 1,645. So now, scholars, I'm going to do a three-digit times two-digit number. I know I have enough room. I'm going to do 829 times 57. And let me just draw a little line to, so I know exactly where I am. I'm going to draw another rectangle. This one, I need three squares going down to the top because I'm going to put my hundreds across the top as my length. And then I just need two squares because I only have a two-digit number here. And I'm just going to put that on my side as my width. So again, we're going to break it down based upon place value. The value in the ones column in our two-digit number is 7. The value in our tens column is 50. The value of the 9 in our ones column or the value of our ones column is 9. The value in our tens column is, that's right, 20. And the value in our hundreds column is 800. Put in my multiplication symbol to remind me. 5 times 8 is 40. And I have 1, 2, 3 zeros. So I'm going to add 3 zeros. So 800 times 50 is 40,000. Now I have 5 times 2 is 10, and now I have two zeros, so that's 1,000, and 5 times 9 is 45, I have one zero, excuse me, now let's go with 7 times 8 is 56, and I have two zeros, 7 times 2 is 14. I have one zero. Seven times nine is 63. And I don't have any zeros. I'm going to add vertically and then add horizontally. Or better yet, I'm going to add horizontally across and then add them together. So I have 40,000 plus 1,000 is 41,000 plus 450. So I have 41,450 plus I have 5,600, add in the 100, that's 5,740, 5,740, let's do some side math, plus 63, or I'll do it this way, 3 plus 0 plus 0 is 3. 6 plus 4 plus 0 is 10. Put that down. Carry the 1. 100 plus 6 plus 1 is 800. Put down my 5. And add. So 3 plus 0 is 3, 5 plus 0 is 5, 8 plus 4 is 12, put down my 2, carry my 1, 5 plus 1 plus 1 is 7, and I bring down my 4. So 829 times 57 is 47,253. 
So I'm going to grab another color marker so I can put my answer right here down at the bottom. So it equals 47,253. And last but not least, scholars, now that we've done a three digit by two digit number, our last problem for today is going to be multiplying a four digit number times a one digit number. So here's our last problem in our tutorial, and it's going to be 4,000. 789 times, let's do six. I know a lot of my scholars struggle knowing their multiplication tables and their sixes, and this will be a good exercise. So because I have four digits, I'm gonna need a long length. And it can be very short because I'm gonna multiply it only by six. So I need four columns, so I'm going to draw one, two, three lines. The value in our ones column is nine. The value in our tens column is 80. The volume, the value in our hundreds column is 700. And our value in our thousands column is 4,000. Put our multiplication symbol, and let's get to multiplying. Six times four, 24. With three zeros. So six times 4,000, 24,000. Six times seven is 42. With two zeros is 4,200. Six times eight. That's right, scholars, you're so smart, it's 48. I have one zero, so 80 times six is 480. And last but not least, six times nine, 54. And now we're gonna add all of these numbers up and I'll do it vertically. 24,000 plus 4,200 plus 480, plus 54. And now we're gonna add four plus zero, plus zero, plus zero is four. Eight plus five is 13. Don't forget to carry your one. Four plus two is six, plus one is seven. Four plus four is eight. And I bring down my two. So 4,789 times six is equal to 28,734. So scholars, I hope this helps you. Parents, I really hope this helps you. And now your scholar has learned how to multiply using a rectangular array or an area model up to a four digit times one digit number meeting our state standard. And it's the same standard in every state. That's why it's called Common Core. So I hope this video helps you. If you need to, please play it as many times as you need to in order for you to understand the lesson and have a great day. Bye, everybody.